Hey everybody, welcome back. Cartel Tycoon. Hope we're having a sweet day today. I know I'm I am with all this all this money here. I'm just having a great day. I went ahead and hired Hector Alejandro Vijo. This is the guy that was uh, from the main campaign during the beta and early access and stuff. So uh, his stats and stuff seem to be about the same. Um, the one thing he has is he's actually very useful near the end, but not so much during the beginning. So it might be worth getting him promoted up to here. But um, currently he's free, obviously. Um, medium cargo, medium speed. He does know how to deliver things. His special skill is burning buildings, which is kind of nice. He can set any building he wants on fire. Um, but he'll generate terror if he burns a building that is not allied or he, he burns a building that is, uh, you know, from our enemies. We'll generate some terror that way. Um, his second, his main promotion here is pretty useless sicario one is kind of nice silent assassination is pretty good um i'll probably end up doing um truck supplier instead probably when he gets up to here though it's kind of interesting because he gets money launderer or laundry manager which is nice and also researcher which is great if we have a university um I, it, three power is is cool here but remember these end skills are only for the capo um, I remember somebody from the comments also mentioned something like that with Paulina having silent assassination at the end. And that is a thing that she has. But remember, you have to be capo to use that final skill, um, which means she's got to be, you know, where Caesar is. Caesar has to die for her to have that. Now, Colby's up for promotion. That's kind of interesting. I might go truck supplier here. Um, if I do that, then I can at least put Kobe maybe uh, in the hotel in the city. I think that'd be a good compromise. If we place Colby in a hotel in this city, then we can generate the, uh, at least I think that's how that works. Maybe it's not. I think Peacemaker, right? While they're in a city. I, I, I'm assuming anyway that if you're in a hotel, which is built in a city, that you count as being in the city and therefore we could give the hotel more, more trucks that way. Alternatively, um, if that's not how it works, I don't know that. Maybe you do, leave me a comment. Um, if that's not how it works, then I can go power three and then Kobe will just sit in the town and you can be used to defend towns um, and keep her, you know, keep him, it to him, not to her. Um, keep Kobe in uh, here. I knew, I knew a girl named Kobe once with brown hair I, he does look like a guy when you look at him, but since I know a girl named Kobe with brown hair like this, I'm just like, that's Kobe. It's not. Um, anyway, I'm looking at other promotion possibilities. And I'm seeing maybe Vanessa, because she can increase the uh, laundering volume, which is kind of nice. I'm seeing kidnapping as well. Get legal money as ransom. All good things. Uh, I think I am going to promote Vanessa, though. Because of this laundering manager, we can put her in a place like... Um, well, I can I can put her in the residence and have them and doing that. So um, we'll probably go ahead and uh, promote her like that. So in order to do that, I need to clear up a spot. And so I think for that reason, I'm not really sure how this works. And I think having more combat power is not necessarily a bad thing. We'll go ahead and get Colby to have more combat power. That makes Colby Sicario, in which case then we can use that to promote Vanessa. And I think I'm gonna go with Laundry Manager here. And so that moves her up, which leaves a spot to join our team. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm just taking a look quickly at some of the buildings, and then we're going to get started with our main focus today, which is to... I, I would love to move a lot of these buildings into dirty money maintenance. Dirty money upkeep, basically. Um, so I want to focus on that today, if the game will let me. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this road, because I'm fairly confident that the position that I want to go or the place I want to go with my residence is that road is going to be in the way. So this residence needs to cover kind of like this. I'd like it to cover every building in here. So about, yeah, about like this. And by doing this, we can have all of these managed with dirty money by bringing the dirty money into this aerodrome and then having that money distributed using this residence. 
but I would like to, I'd like to have that be a thing. So we're going to redraw that dirt road right up against this residence here. And I'm doing it that way so that I can still get around any potential roadblocks because the cops tend to put the roadblock like right here. Um, and that way I can also go like that and like that and also direct to this road. Uh, I'd like to have another direct path. Let's go like this and then like this. That way the truck can go that way if it wants to. So we're going to build this residence. That's going to take a bit. Now, I've got a lot of money sitting inside this hotel, and I think Hector's going to help me move that. But before he does, I think we're running out of, yep, we're running out of vegetables over here. So what we're going to want Hector to do, I think the first thing we're going to want you to do is before it becomes too late, we're going to have you move to the hotel. And what I'd like you to do is deliver a, some dirty money. Let's say $6,000. We're going to bring it into town over here. See, these are already filling up. And we don't want that. So what I want to do now is we're going to have us buy vegetables. And we're going to buy it with dirty money. And we're going to buy a whole bunch of them. 200 vegetables here. Okay. Now what I want you to do is I want you to deliver those vegetables. Maybe like 90 of them and bring them over here. And that way these buildings hopefully don't start filling up anymore. That'd be, that's bad. I, ha I hate how they're filling up. Um, looking at this... This stupid seaport has shipped vegetables. It didn't... How? How did you have this? Damn it. Stop shipping vegetables. I don't want you to do that. Um, so I want to stop that, of course. Capo. Uh, yeah, Capo, you're going to bring those vegetables out of here so that that doesn't happen anymore. Let's just get those vegetables brought to here. And obviously, we still have this um, happening. However... Yeah, we have three days left. That's probably something I should move out of there. Um, why don't we have you deliver, say, 60 of this, and we're just going to move it to the city. We just want to make sure that the buildings aren't overflowing because the cops are about to raid us in three days. So I need to manage that a little bit better. Um, so we can also go ahead and deliver the vegetables to uh, like here direct and then we'll deliver the rest of them directly to the warehouse so it can be distributed evenly but um you know before that happens this is how i'm gonna do it for now look at this thing just overfilling it's crazy let's shut this down so it stops producing because i really don't want these buildings seized it's just too expensive to to, to deal with it over here, we have an influx of vegetables and not a lot of opium. Over here, we have a whole bunch of opium, but not a lot of vegetables. And most of the reason why there's no vegetables here is because this thing is on coffee. So I'm going to switch this to vegetables now. I'm going to have you move over here. I'm going to have you move some of the vegetables from this over to here. Real easy transition there to keep these things from overflowing. We don't want them to overflow. Um, likewise... We want to have you take some of the opium that's here and move it over here. So now this thing is more evenly distributed since they apparently weren't doing it very well themselves. We'll have you do it. Okay. Now I want you to go ahead and move back over here where you can, you know, service the fields like you are. Uh, okay. Hector, what's going on here? So I, I got to figure this out. I got to have all this stuff managed appropriately so that it doesn't... Uh, cause any problems because we're again we're about to be raided here uh, in a day one day till the cops say hi to us i would really like them to not say hi to us uh this may overflow with vegetables which would be a bad deal too um why don't we temporarily can we afford to do this i think we can yeah temporarily we're gonna shut down the transport company and i'm hoping that that means that no more packages will be delivered here I'd like also to have Capo. Yeah, go ahead and move Capo uh, back over to the warehouse where he belongs. And then I want you to come back over here so that you can go on another ship and we can have two ships sending it out. This is almost done. I'd like to at least use two slots there. Maybe even three slots would be cool. I could maybe do that with Wagner. I think I will. I'm going to have Wagner do that since he's already bringing stuff directly here anyway. What a What a little turd. Oh, almost filled it up. Nice. Okay, you're going to stay here. You two, 
big slots, huge amounts of money, $104,000 coming into the seaport, okay? So you guys just send that out there. It's great. Uh, are we good here? We're not overflowing anywhere, hopefully. Looks pretty good. No money problems there. Workshops. Very close on that dried cannabis. Very close on this dried cannabis. Uh, we shut down all the fields, so I'm hoping that means... Not a whole lot more dried cannabis to go, but we also need this processed quicker. So as they process it, hopefully it doesn't trigger. Man, they just, yeah, this. So what I want to do is deliver dried cannabis. Um, I'll drop it in this residence. That gets rid of the extra that's here. And then uh, we can move you over here too. And again, we'll just deliver this extra dried cannabis to the residence. So hopefully that doesn't happen either. Let's see what happens here. Uh, six hours left. Are we are we good? We're not gonna overflow here, right? We're gonna have a surprise bunk inspection. Yet yeah, this is a problem. This is a problem. Six hours. I'm gonna move to have you deliver a little bit of these goods to this transport company. Okay, now move back over here. Uh, and then I want to basically shut down this warehouse for a second. Shut it down. This, that, that five, is that going to put me over? No. Shut it down until the cops are done. We're good. We're good. We're good. I think we're good. Shut it down until the cops are done. Two hours left until the new attack. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Good. Attracted, at wait, attracted attention to police. What did I do? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Where's the police? Police? Police are not coming for any building. That's it. 28 days left. Excellent. Good job, everyone. GG. Turn everything back on. We're ready to rock and roll. Also, that, that boat really needs to load so we can get the hell out of here. Go. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and turn that field back on. Hector, you can stop doing what you're doing. And I'd like you to go back over to the town. All right, Vanessa isn't satisfied with current terror level. <laughs> Vanessa, you can just, uh, you know, whatever. I, I don't care. I don't care. All right, I don't. Capo, terror is growing amongst the people in the neighboring villages about the size of our operation. They say that money is already drying up and they're anxious that if we get too big, they'll have nobody left to sell their produce to anymore. At this rate... I'd say I'd say we'll see a notable increase in terror within the next three weeks if we don't do something. What do you expect me to do about it? It might go a long way to quell their worries if we could buy up some of their stock and feed some money back into the community. Yes, good. Ethical investment. Let's say we'll buy $8,000 of goods from villages. I think that's probably fine. All right, good. So if we need to buy $8,000 worth of legal stuff, which is fine, we were doing that anyway. So one of the things we can do with this money, I'm gonna buy chicken. I'm gonna buy 130 chicken. Yeah, that, at 45 a piece. Boom, tons of chicken, baby, let's go. <laughs> and then what we'll do, is we'll have Hector deliver the chicken. Uh, I mean, I kind of want to put it in packages here, but we have to package that. We have to package goods with it, and we can't afford that without Workshop 2. 17,000 illegal money. I don't think that's enough to get Workshop 2. It's just right here. We need $33,000 to get that, but that's going to allow me to package it with chicken. It'll just chicken will just sit here then, I guess. Uh, in the meantime, I think probably also more coffee would be a good idea because I was packaging it with coffee earlier and that was going really well, but I kind of like the fact that we're double dipping these containers. I auto save. Uh, so I think in maybe we will turn the coffee machine back on if you will, and, uh, we can deliver that here. So let's buy, uh, we'll move it with dirty money here though. Let's get you over here. And we want to take this $45,000 in dirty money. We're going to deliver that. And we're going to go with like another $8,000 to the village. And then what I'd like to do 
Let's have, go ahead and turn this back on and then have you get your route going again. Oh, you already had your route. I messed it up, didn't I? Sure did. Here you go. Go your route, bring it back to this. Um, pause really quick. We got the residents. Okay, so what I'd like to do, we have all these buildings in the network and that's very nice. So what I'd like to do is add one more location and we're gonna add that. Okay, so now what we need to do is we're gonna turn all these buildings to be managed with dirty money. But we're gonna start with them incrementally. That way the business, the residents, has a chance to collect funds and therefore also um, with the funds, distribute them. So I wanted to have time to actually distribute the funds. So we're gonna start, now that we have some money in here, we'll go ahead and say farm two, right? And what I'm hoping to see is that the residents will now deliver $325 to farm two, which allows it to be maintained. Good, we'll go ahead and turn on the warehouse which now the residents can go do the same thing with. And we'll do this incrementally over time because we have limited trucks with this residence. We don't want it to be overwhelmed right away, right? And have to shut things down. I also would like to start the transport company with that really quickly because that's cheaper to manage. We're also gonna do the same thing with this one. Okay. And then this one's already being managed with dirty money anyway. So uh, Hector, come on back over here, please. We're not washing money nearly fast enough in this town. I think I want to ditch the taxi company, honestly, because this is, I mean, we're not washing it fast enough, you know what I mean? Uh, let's go ahead and actually spend a little bit more. How's the bank doing? Bank is almost done, so I think I can afford to do this then. Let's go ahead and do some charity work. Get some more loyalty up. You now have extra strength from the people. Very nice. And I want to deliver a whole bunch of cash over to the bank. Just bring it over here. Dump it in the bank. This has $95,000 coming in. This is insane. Capo, I need you here. <laughs> uh, Jose, you're probably going to be helping me move money here too. Because that's wild. Uh, now, with research, we're about to have a ton of legal money. So with research, we're going to, I think, go workshop two. I think workshop two is the best way to go here. Uh, and then this is probably going to switch to coffee, I think. Eventually. There's $5,000 in this residence. So let's switch uh, you to dirty money and we'll switch this to dirty money. When I switch them to dirty money, that prompts the residents to bring cash to those bu those buildings. So it, it again, you have to manually bring dirty money to the places where you're managing that. And so that's why I want to do this slowly um so that we don't shut down things as we're bringing money over there to it i also think a direct route from here to here is a good idea just to like keep that going do we do we get rid of this road it kind of did i don't know if it's useful but i'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway there we can do that now too Okay, uh, so we've delivered dirty money, pretty close anyway. This one still needs some, there it goes. And so now we want to, I guess, go ahead and turn that one on. And we can go ahead and turn on that one. Let the residents do its thing. Probably go ahead and flip that farm on and that farm. Because those farms are less important. Hector, go back over to the bank or to the hotel, please. All right, the bank's gonna have so much money here, dude. <laughs> $86,000, um, $86,000. We only need one slot, it looks like. Yep, we don't need you guys to do this. So deliver money to bank. You deliver money, I don't know where, <laughs> to uh, 24,000 to this residence, go. All right, now we're gonna need even more stuff. Now we need to wash money way faster, okay? So at this point, I'm thinking we start buying extra buildings. So we can afford to pay for it with dirty money if it's allowed. And I would really like a university because it opens tier three research and it speeds up progress on all research by 10%. We get everything good. In addition to that though, four building power. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to do? A charitable foundation is interesting. Large storage capacity, lots of loyalty, not a whole lot of buildings. And um, 
notice that this does not wash money. So this is all about just building relationships with people and getting your loyalty up. Uh, we could also buy the hotel, but again, that's all legal money only. Jewelry store is kind of interesting. It does launder cash. This bank is <laughs> now this is where the, this is where the game gets really nice, right? I think what we're going to do is tear down this taxi company. I think I want this taxi company out of here. Can I do that? Do I do I have to do it with this? Yeah. Sorry, taxi company. We're just not that into you. Tear you down. We got to we got to wash the money faster. Um and you know as fast as we're drying this stuff up, maybe I'll just bite the bullet and say okay. Fine. I'll bite the bullet, say okay. Um, we're going to have to manage this with legal money, but it's not that big of a deal. And now we can just bring the cannabis to this dryer too. Okay, there you go. We're drying it faster now. With the drying it faster, um, we're going to need... Like, these things are overwhelmed. These workshops kind of overwhelmed. So I'm thinking we're going to need even more workshops. And I'm going to put it, I think, right over like this. I'd like it to be in range of everything, right? So, including the residents. So, yeah, I think I'll put it like right over here. Say, right on the road like this. This will be $43 uh, legal, illegal money. Okay, so, uh, shouldn't be a problem now to, to bring everything around, right? This uh, should just be brought here now. So that's pretty nice. Uh, we can go ahead and stop your deliveries and have you bring it directly to this rack instead because it's a shorter drive. So here you go. Bring it here. All right. Uh, Paulina, you're not really doing much. If I didn't have bad press, I would I would start messing with these guys. If I didn't have bad press, I think that would probably be a thing to do right now. Uh, since I do have bad press, I can't do things for 45 days. I've got to just, you know, kind of wait. So I guess I will wait. Um, let's go ahead and buy coffee, and we'll go ahead and just buy, yeah, a whole bunch. Let's say this much. That takes care of the ethical investment, and um, we want to also ship. Uh, hang on. You're overloaded? Oh, you have way too much money. <laughs> uh, okay, here. We're going to go ahead and turn on all these farms to be illegal money managed. So this is all... Every building in this area now is being maintained with illegal money. Yep. And so now we just need to move some of the money, a very small portion of it, so it's not overloaded, uh, back to this hotel. So everything here is now managed by that residence. Very nice. We could do the same thing with the residence over here, by the way, and that's what I intend to do as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get another residence because we can, oh, we can barely afford it. I should probably wait until we're done laundering. Yeah, we should. We need to launder first. There's some, this is already basically overloaded. Wow. Uh, can you, can you get that taken care of, please? Just get, a little bit of cash out of here and bring it back to the residence. You, stop this. Stop this madness right now. You bringing it to town or... You are. You're bringing it to town. Now, again, you could do go ahead and get a loan. You could. Absolutely. Just take all this dirty money you have. This is why I say it's broken. Let's just take all the dirty money we have and bring it into town. And then we'll ask each mayor for a loan. Done. We just laundered it. Ta-da! Lots of loyalty. Yay! Everyone celebrates. There's no investment to do that. There's no, there's, there's nothing there. There's no tangible thing there. You, know, you see what I'm saying? It's a little cheap. I don't like it. That's why I'm not going to do it. Okay. Set my piece on that. Um, go to buildings, and we're going to say. I mean, I need something I can build with dirty money at this point, right? So, uh, what's the greatest thing I can build with? Probably the church. We could build a $30,000 church. Uh, I'm looking for something that launders fast, though. It's probably just a bank. I mean, 
A bank would just flat out do it. Yeah, probably the bank. We need to get $50,000 there though. So I think we save, save up, stop building things. Can we build a residence with, no, you can't build a residence with dirty money, unfortunately. So I have to wait on that. Where is all my dirty money right now? Uh, <laughs> it is, unfortunately, most of it is sitting in that bank. Um, it's kind of spread out. 38,000 here, 30,000 there, uh, 30,000 there, 55 here, almost 20,000 here. So like we, there is a pretty good spread on the dirty money. I really wish I could put a residence in here and manage this with dirty money too. That'd be, that would be ideal. I need more trucks. Capo, need you to come back over here, please. I need trucks for this. And then, Jose, can you deliver as much cannabis as possible to here? There you go. Capo comes back over here to help us with that. And then we're going to put uh, Jose back here. Uh, okay, let me check it really quick on the supply. We're at 22 on the vegetables. And the doc is still paying attention to coffee for another 21 days. We have quite a bit of time on that. We're going to stay on vegetables for the time being. Um, I love the idea, though, of having all of our legal goods coming directly from the people. There's so much flexibility in that, right? I can have my, my vegetable fields, and then all of a sudden I switch to coffee, and it's instantaneous, and I have it, and it's just done, right? So I don't have to worry about it. Um, buying it from the people is very good. And right now, in this village, there's nothing here, right? So we need some dirty money in this village. Uh, so I'm going to move over to the residence where there's plenty of dirty money to go around. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and deliver, let's say, 10 grand to the city. So it's not overflowing, okay? So we've got this. Um, we want to do dried cannabis here, not opium. And we're looking to incorporate it into vegetables because... That's what we're sending. That's what we're shipping a lot of. So we don't have any vegetables in this warehouse and we have lots of vegetables over here. So I need someone who hauls you. Hector, come over. Or are you are you large? Near or medium too? Let's have, let's have Hector do it. Move over here. And now I want you to take and deliver these vegetables, like 90 of them, and just bring them to this warehouse. And then it will get distributed with the warehouse. We don't have to do it manually ourselves. The warehouse will take care of it. Um, but I guess I could have you ship a little bit of it like as a direct delivery if, if needed. Um, nope, the warehouse is already taking care of it. So that's good. So we'll just have that happen, have that be a thing. We're up to respect. We're about to get I idolatry, which is another thing I'm trying to get to um, because gang, Enemy gangs attacks will be occur less frequently. Hey, 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 Oh, I definitely need to get to that, don't I? Um, the thing about idolatry, which I love, I think I like, is her, right? Now, I can talk to her again, which I probably should. Um, but here's this. If I can get her to zealous, which would be cool. Um, if I can get my loyalty level to basically that I'm an idol, model citizen, right? At that case, I can actually ask her to join. And she will join me at the Sicario level. I believe is how that works. Yeah, Sicario rank. Um, Sicario rank, by the way, in case you weren't familiar, is here. So she will join us as this rank. So I have to have a space available in my organization, of course, for that, which is why people are not being promoted yet. Okay. So um, well, let's go ahead and talk to her, actually, and see if she has anything new to say. Que vista mas hermosa. It is like something out of a fairy tale. 500... Silateros, Silateros, march, yeah, march down the road, carrying on their backs wooden frames covered in an assortment of flowers, all moving and melting together in a midday mirage into a psychedelic hue. The parade procession continues for three miles and concludes in the city center. Now, La Silareta, uh, nope, sorry, that's not how you say that. Um, La Silatera wears uh, the traditional white dress of the Campesina and greets the capo with open arms. Parcero, what do you think? Muy fuega. Yeah, it's very hot. Uh, yeah, 
Signora. Um, Cesar Garcetti pulls the pressed plume of a uh, yellow Celosia sealed in a small frame from their pocket and presents it to Para. Ah, gracias, Capo. We're, got, we're more flirting again. Here we go. I mean, you must have been in this weather. What does this thing weigh? 200 pounds? I have something for you, too. From the center of the uh, Saleta, um, Amarantha Para pulls a small bouquet and hands it to the capo. Gracias, but I might have seen enough flowers today for a lifetime. Just remember to feed them, okay? Later that same evening, Cesar Garcetti trims the stems of the bouquet, readying them to go into the vase on his desk. Struggling with a thin plant food satchel, sachet, socket, sachet, um, he... Oh, it's like a small satchel. It's like not a satchel, but a sachet. I think that's how you say it. Um, he bites and pulls at the corners. The sachet opens quickly, spilling its contents over the desk. Not powdered plant food, but cocaine. I knew it. <laughs> okay, so she's back to being zealous. Good. Um, and again, if we can get to idolatry, then we can now recruit her if we want to. And then I assume that means that this city just becomes part of organization, which is great because they have the airport. Oh, that's really good. I want to talk to him too, actually. Let's talk to Flores Avion. Of course. The office of airport director is a large rotunda enclosed by windows from floor to ceiling and shrouded by thick black curtains. Operations are handled downstairs, senor. This is where I handle any administration that requires a degree of delicacy. Oh, you handle many such matters at a public airport? Flores Avion uh, sits behind a large horseshoe desk at the center of the room. A thick, downturned walrus mustache. Is that what that's called? Compliments his stern expression. This is called a walrus mustache. Can I help you, senor? I want to move my merchandise to the airport, Avion. I was hoping we could come to some sort of arrangement. Delicacy be damned, then. This isn't one of your aerodromes, capo. People are a relatively simple query uh, compared to narco... Uh, I have such a hard time with this word, I don't know why. Narcoticos. Narcoticos. <laughs> That's how it is. Um, I'm sure an industrious man such as yourself can make an appropriate accommodation. Hmm. Were you to find a way to increase passenger traffic with an event likely to catch the eye of the world's public? The opening of a new football stadium, por ejemplo. Oh my god. I need to open a stadium? With that many people coming through the airport, the things might go unaccounted for. I'll see what I can do. So I have to construct... In the cities I own, an amusement park, a salsa club. They do not need to be built in the same city. Okay, not a stadium. But I need to build an amusement park and a salsa club in the cities I own. That's a problem. I think I'm going to be taking Los Grandes faster than I thought. This guy, the city is 10 power still. Even though they're one power, the city's still 10. Like, that's still hard to take. But I think I should. Should I just move all hands on deck and just flood in there and take that guy down? While he's one strength. I mean, the terror that will be caused by this is pretty high. Um, and I think I'm doing pretty well without the terror. Oh, also bad press. So let's let's actually wait till bad press um, is done. I think that's probably a good idea. I have got too much money in here. I gotta, I gotta wash it. This, we gotta do something here. Um, maybe we do an amusement park in here. Launder's cash at $2,400 $2, every three and a half days. $2,400 over three and a half days. Taxi company was $1,800 every three days. Okay. What about the salsa club? This does $600. It's very small. I think maybe the amusement park then. I really don't want to build this. Like, I, I want to build something bigger. Something more grandiose. All right? Something more in line with my needs. And I'm about to get $30,000 from the bank here and another $12,000 here. That will put me into 60 k range. Again, I know the, the loan will do it, but I, I don't want to do the loan. Um, let's uh, take a look at this stuff too. What's the 18 days on that? We're still overloaded because we just don't have vegetables. All right, turn this on. 
Let's let the vegetables flow from this location. And then we're also going to bring the vegetables from here. All the vegetables we have and bring them to this warehouse so they can be distributed. Let's also bring coffee over there too. There's a lot of coffee in here too. So we'll deliver, uh, let's say, 100 coffee to this location as well. It can be distributed wherever it needs to be. Uh, even you. Even you are a problem. Oh, it's the vegetables again. You still don't have enough vegetables, really? I really should get um, transport company. I wonder if I add this transport company. Could I? If I do that, will you pick up vegetables from here and move it to that warehouse? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. No, I'm going to have to do that manually. You stop. Oh, I didn't stop him in time. Now he's going to stop in town. That's fine. We'll just move it from town later. Come over here. Same thing with you, Hector. I want you guys to deliver vegetables as many as you can. Drop them in there. No, not you. Well, whatever. Deliver vegetables to there. Okay, and then come back over to town. You guys are going to do vegetable runs so they get this stuff moving. So just deliver it. Yeah, wherever you can. Just drop it off. All right. Uh, so again, 229 dirty money. We are going to be full on dirty money. We cannot wash this fast enough. I have to have another building. I'm thinking jewelry store at the moment in this building. Um, 11 and a half every seven days. If I go charitable foundation, maybe that's how we do it. Maybe we just go charitable foundation. I want the cathedral so bad though. I want the cathedral so bad. Can I please have the cathedral instead? Tell me there's a way. Take a loan. That's the way. Take a loan. <laughs> Let me, should I show you how broken it is? Just by doing it one time? I'll show you how stupid powerful it is. It's stupid. Uh, I don't have any other capos anyway. Or any, any other uh, novatos anyway. Um, let's go with... Yeah, okay, fine. I'll show you how broken it is right now. So I'll ask a favor and I'll say, hey, lend me some money. And she'll go, okay, I will lend you money. Business is good, could be better. So I'm looking for some funding to invest in expanding our production chain. Can I count on your support? Not from my own pockets, no, but we do have a sizable pot reserved for public investment. I don't see a problem with you dipping your hands in as well. As long as you can assure me that you'll return it on time. The money is earmarked for a new church, you see. This church will never come, of course, but such promises give the people hope if they learned the money was gone. You see what I'm saying? So I'm borrowing this. The people will never learn that it's gone unless, of course, I mess up, in which case then there's dire consequences. So if I do things right, the people never know it was missing, which means the people never know I did it. So why are you giving me loyalty? Respect of the people, right? Oh, well, um, you have my word. This will give $30,000 right now in legal money, and I have uh, to return 35000 to the city within 30 days. You have my word. All right, good. So now I get 71 grand, okay? With that 71,000 combined with this money that's coming in, I can now afford to have my big old uh, mega church, okay? I will have my own mega church and it'll be glorious, my glorious mega church. Um, so what I'm gonna do is stop your deliveries. I'm gonna move you over to the hotel. I want you to stop as well. And I'm going to move you over to the hotel because we've got $65,000 in money in this hotel and I obviously don't have the ability to uh, move all that. I want to take you, let's say 38,000. You're going to move it to the city, all right? You with this 22,000 in here, right? I want you to deliver a bunch of it to the city. So we're going to move all of our dirty money into here, right? Oh, you're going to phone call me now, huh? Phone call me. That's a, that's a verb now. You're phone calling me. Why not just say you're calling me? Say, Capo, have you heard of expect expectancy theory? Ah, 
Cesar Carsetti doesn't so much as look up from the end of his their cigarette. No, and I don't care. But neither does Paulina Hernandez much wait for an answer. It's this theory of motivation that a Canadian called Victor Vroom came up with. He says that effort breeds success, which breeds rewards, which breeds motivation. Got me thinking. Cocaine is a pain to produce, but the effort to make it will breed higher rewards than weed or opium. So if we put in even more effort to commit to, say, 115 cocaine in under a month, the reward should be even greater. What do you think? So I do not have the infrastructure yet to do cocaine. I will fail this challenge. It will suck. And so if we can ignore it and the price of cocaine will decrease to $90 for 14 days. There is no consequence to that. You lost me at theory. So I'm not going to deal with that. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't need the complexity of cocaine right now. I realize that the higher drugs are significantly more profitable. I'm aware. Yeah, I know. It's funny how that works, right? Um, but don't care. Don't care at all. We're going to do things. I got it. I, I got the plan. We're going to, we're going to stick to it. Uh, so I think 14 days left until we're going to get raided. You deliver money, a whole bunch of it to the town. And what you'll find is that once we have $35,000 delivered, right? That price dropped. I know. We have $35,000 delivered, right? So she should just take it, right? Isn't that how that works? I've never done the loan. I just know how it works. So I imagine she was going to take it. How does she uh, payment do? Pay back the debt. Pin. Do I talk to her to pay back the debt? Oh, okay. Just have 35,000 ready at in Sodoso in 30 days. Yeah, that's easy. So all done. So we can stop your deliveries. Uh, we don't need you to do this anymore either. So goodbye. Okay, good. So 79,000. Oh yeah, you had to stop at just shy of 80, huh? Really? Just shy of 80, yeah? Yeah, okay. So I think since it stopped me, $500 shy of 80. Of 80. <laughs> Lame. Um. What do we do to get that going again? Uh, God, all I want is five hundred dollars in in legal money. That's it, five hundred. That can't be so much to ask, right? I want you to deliver four, fifteen, eighteen thousand dollars to the bank. Uh, how much is in here? Forty. Okay, so we can have you deliver. Uh, let's say uh, forty-three hundred to the bank. That gives me with just over. That's a good. That's a good amount. Now I want you to go move back here. I want you to move back here. And you are going to now deliver. Now you have a small storage. You're going to deliver all this extra product over here, so we can sell it at this port and make more money. Not that we need more money, but you know, might as well make more money, right? Um, what else? This place is always overloaded now. We got to get the because this is collecting money from the airport, so it has too much cash. It's very cash flush. Just make sure every single building here is managed by dirty money. Well, you're not, but you're about to be because the plantation is going to do it for you. Um, we're going to take 16 grand and bring that to the bank, which is more than I should. That's just more than I should bring to the bank. All right, go back. Oh, no, it actually seems good because you only do a little bit per order. So you're fine, actually. <sighs> okay, so when I'm going to let it run. When I get to having 80,000 in legal money, we're going to build a cathedral right here so that I can wash faster and do really awesome charity stuff. Okay, with this cathedral because it's very high loyalty every time I do it and it washes money at a pretty respectable rate. And I'd like just all sorts of things like that are really great to have. So um, as you can see, we have more money than we can know what to do with. It's all about washing it at this point. And maybe just maybe I use this legal money to build another building here for now. I can always do the cathedral later, but I have enough to build a bank right now in this place. And that feels it feels like the right thing to do, <laughs> doesn't it? I think it does. I think it feels like the right thing to do. So uh, we're going to do it. We're going to build a bank right here, which is, you know, it just means it's going to take longer for me to get my cathedral. I'm so close to getting it, though. Just wait. Just wait. 
All right, I'm, I'm going to just wait. I'm just going to wait for it. And then once we have the 80,000 illegal, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, and get my cathedral in this place. What do you want? Cesar Corsetti. Capo. Uh, what, what do you want? Even the distortion of the telephone can't hide the smile in the mayor's voice. My boys in the warehouse keep reporting that your truck's coming in full of fresh green cash. They say there's enough to cover our debt, should you wish to do so. Of course, there is still time before the money is due, should you wish to keep hold of it. No, 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 no. Pay the debt early. Consider our debt settled. Perhaps you can put it towards the actual public improvement now? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so just like that. And look at the loyalty go up. Look at how freaking powerful that is. Makes no sense. Way too easy. Don't like it. So I won't be doing that. But um, now you know what it's like. Now you can see what it does. And now, of course, the gang activity is going to be reduced because uh, the people like us. And then terror is going to go down when people love me more than they're afraid, which is also pretty fun. Okay, let me let this run just to manage my stuff. And uh, I will be right back when I can build my cathedral. Okay. All right, the bank is almost done washing. And presto, we got enough. Let's do it. So buildings, we're going cathedral, 80,000, build it, done. Boom. Your accountant is worried. Oh, is this the thing? Is this the thing? Your accountant is worried. You spent a significant amount of money recently. That kind of thing will draw unnecessary attention to your business. Be careful. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that from the beta. Okay. Is the reporter going to come sniffing around on me now? Is that what we're about to witness? Is that what we're going to have to get deal with? Huh? Let's have you deliver uh, $10,000 to the cathedral. You can have that. Just store it right in there. Heck yes. Let's go. Um, we now have the ability also. I'm going to dump more of this money in here too. I think we're going to go this much. Bring it to the cathedral. You... It's kind of nice to have Jose in here, isn't it? This guy in the cathedral. It's awesome. Um, bring this over here. Bring you over here. We're going to get some money out of this residence as well. Um, and then now that we have $19,000 in legal money, I think we probably should... Well, I don't really want to build another residence because we just spent a lot of money, right? We don't want to draw attention to ourselves. So we'll, we'll look at that. Uh, we also know that our, our friendly neighborhood... Uh, where is she actually? Oh, right. She's here. She's not going to be happy with us because again, the terror level is falling. I was worried about this. I'm going to raise her upkeep by a small amount just to keep her happy. Just enough to keep her happy. She's, she's a little vicious. I don't want to deal with it. So our terror is actually not high enough for the police to come after our buildings now, which is pretty cool. The downside is it dropped and if it raises up again, I think this counter resets. So actually they can come and get us any time now instead of it being at an interval, which is not great. So we're going to have to look at this. And it seems to me we're running low on veggie tables again. So we're going to come over here. And I'm just going to grab from the locals. Uh, we could also switch to coffee. We should probably switch to coffee. Now that we have... Well, this has a lot of vegetables. Yeah. This doesn't have vegetables. We could switch this one to coffee. And switch this one to coffee. Since there's no other substance in there anyway. And then what we could do is we could say, hey, coffee, deliver all the coffee to this warehouse or this one. Doesn't really matter, right? This one for distribution. So we'll bring the coffee in. And then the warehouses, again, we'll distribute that coffee so that it can be worked. And uh, then uh, everything should be okay. Okay. Hopefully see that the red go away on this. There it goes. Yeah, good. And so the, we'll let the warehouse take care of distribution. Um, so we'll just have Hector just bring the resources from there. That's good. And then as we, well, yeah, opium deals done. I made an opium deal while while the cut was happening, um, just to sell it at a slightly higher price for a bit. So that was good. Look at this. The seaport's got nothing to do. Why is that? Why does this? Wait, why does the seaport have nothing to do? I'm set the building on fire. Why does the seaport have nothing to do? Oh, you're out of vegetables. Well, ye three days. Yeah, you're out of vegetables. That's probably why you have nothing to do. We could buy vegetables. And I think we'll go ahead and buy like maybe this many. And then we'll have Capo 
Let's just have Capo go and move it. I realize the trucks will do it, but I'm going to have Capo come and do it anyway. And then that will get the vegetables to come in here. And now, hopefully, no? No? Capo's not? It's not doing it by itself? Weird. Let's go ahead and just get it in there. Now you can make stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have, have stuff to make. Enjoy that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Cool. Anyway, Cathedral is getting built. So I, I just want to see it, and then we can end the video there. Got to make sure I can see it, though. Uh, so the bank, washing money like a boss. Um, we always have a really full hotel. That's been a problem for a while. This side of town, it really needs something, right? And so I'm thinking I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to build the amusement park here. Um, since we have the, the church over there, and that's good. Um, I'm going to build the amusement park here. It's part of that quest with the airport anyway, so we're not really missing out. Um, and I'm going to use dirty money to build it. The amusement park can go here. And um, with that being done, it'll just, I think, automatically get brought in by the hotel. Yeah, yeah. So that's all just going to happen with the hotel's money. And um, we can go uh, go from go from there. Uh, at least I thought it was going to happen with the hotel's money. What happened? Hotel, what are you doing? Bring 15 grand there. There you go. And now that will get built right after the cathedral is built. And Santa Rosa wants to go play ball. Oh, good. It's these guys. Isn't that great? Just as this goes away, right when this goes away. <sighs> That's okay. Terra will go up and we'll deal with it later. But these guys have 11 strength and they are heading for my city again. So when we come back for the next video, we're going to be dealing with these guys again. Yeah, we just spent a ton of legal money. But I think you guys can see we're uh, we're doing okay. You know, things are things are looking up. And now we're going to be able to launder money a lot faster. So uh, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you guys will hit the like button on these videos. It really does help the channel. You have no idea. Comments down below, all those. I realize that sometimes, I just want to say this at the end of the video too, in case people are watching it. Sometimes when I respond to you, right, for your comments, because I do like to respond to comments. I don't want you to, I don't want you to take it wrong i don't know how you how to, how to word it i don't want you to take it as hostile okay there's there's a way i see the game and there's a way i want to play the game right there's those two different things right and sometimes i'm not in i'm intentionally not going to do the optimal for any given situation okay there's there's reasons why i don't necessarily do the absolute optimal um that doesn't mean you can't leave it um but all i ask is because we still have this problem all i ask is that you don't tell me what happens in the future for doing a specific activity with a storyline or a character or anything like that i would appreciate it if you did not tell me what happens in the future for that leave that blind things on the mechanics of the game totally fine I welcome your discussion. I welcome your feedback. Okay. Thanks for watching. We'll see you. Bye-bye.